Now I want to measure parallelism of this part. I want to have a tolerance that says this part, the face of this has to be parallel to the face of this flange to a certain degree. So uh, I'm going to do that very simply here by moving up to the first surface, reorienting the gauge head so that it is in a flat orientation. Move the probe over again, translating using the micro adjust knobs. Bring that on to, on to scale. Check that to make sure I'm on scale, and I can clear the TIR and just see how much alignment I have, or in this case, how level that is. Uh, I'm, I have TIR of a tenth and 42 millionths there, so I'm going to select parallelism, and it tells me here that I need to put inputs. So in this case, I'm going to select, it, it asks me for the radius, so I'm going to use the scale down here, and I'm at 1.625, enter that. I can put in the part name, test artifact from before. I can put in a comment, this is the top face. And I'm gonna to select top or bottom, and it is at top there. I'm gonna apply that, and then I have the option of using the motor or manual spin. So just like in concentricity, it's gonna take a trace, one revolution of this top surface, and it's gonna give me the TIR, going to give me the flatness of that surface um, and then it's going to hold that information and compare it once I'm satisfied with it it's going to go to the next surface and compare it in parallelism to that so I have the option to go back and remeasure that if I'd like if there's something on there maybe I picked up a dust particle or something that doesn't look right to me but this surface is flat to 40 millionths so I'm going to say that that's okay then I'm going to come off of that surface and using the course adjust here I'm going to move the gauge head down to this lower flange. All right, and I'm going to come inside. There is a series of holes here that I want to miss. And according to my tolerance, I'm going to be just inside of that. And I'm going to come down until I'm on surface. Again, looking at my TIR. So as soon as it turns black and the needle comes up, then I can use the fine adjust to bring it up. Just take one revolution to make sure that I'm not in a hole somewhere or that I am on scale still. And I'm going to say next, which is going to get me to the second point. And I have to input the information here as to the radius again. So I changed the radius and now I'm at 1.875. And I'm still on a top face and so I'm going to apply that and use the motor to take my measurement. I'm going to get the same information out of this surface as I did the top surface, the TIR, and the flatness, but I'm also going to get the final result of parallelism comparing those two surfaces, those two planes, and I'll also get plane runout. So I've got parallelism of a tenth and 90 millionths, and then a whole bunch more information over here about each surface, as well as the parallelism and its high point, and the plane runout and the vector direction of that.